we are turning to hot chocolate now. Of course, Eric Dirtsey is the COO and founder of Creo Brew. And if only you could smell through the television how good this hot chocolate does smell. Oh, I love it every morning. Now tell me about it because this seems to be like the avant-garde of hot chocolate. Well, this is very unique. Um, I love chocolate. I grew up in a family where we, my father worked for a chocolate company. Oh, but wow. I'm, I'm a chiropractor and a nutritionist, so I saw there's not a whole lot of health benefits in most chocolate. So I wanted to find a way to get the health benefits out of it. So basically, Creo is 100% cocoa beans that have been roasted and ground, and you brew it like coffee. But it's very healthy. It retains all of the antioxidant benefits. You get a nice natural energy, but without any of the fat and calories that Ooh, most chocolate has. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so that's why you have the press. That's correct. Okay, because this, this is, is that how you brew this, or can you just do it through a coffee maker? You can do it through a regular coffee maker if you use one of the permanent filters. So okay. it needs to be a mesh filter instead of a paper filter. Okay, so explain to me how this works, and I, I see here. Okay, explain to me how it works, and then we'll talk about the different kinds, because great. I just, lots of different items that people can pick up. There are, and lots of ways to use it. So probably the most popular way is in a French press. So a French press, you put grounds in the bottom, mm -hmm. and you put boiled water in top, and you mix it around and let it sit for five to ten minutes. Now coffee you're going to let sit for around five minutes, but Creo you actually can brew it longer and all you're going to do is extract a stronger, more chocolatey taste. So around ten minutes is ideal. Once that time is up, you press this down and there's a filter in there, a mesh screen that actually pushes all of the solid parts of the cocoa bean to the bottom. So what you're left with on top is the fat-free, very low-calorie drink that has the essence of chocolate without all the negatives. You're speaking my language, fat-free and low-calorie. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Now let's talk about the different kinds of hot cocoa you have. Now I'm, I am, what is this, the Kavala? Kavala, that is our top seller from the Ivory Coast. Okay. It's the very first one we came out with. Now a lot of our varieties that we have are from unique unique countries. That's from Ivory Coast. We have another uh, called Maracaibo. That's from Venezuela. And depending on where the cocoa bean is grown, they have unique flavors. Now for the holidays, we've actually got something that people have been excited about. We have a couple of new flavored ones that we have. There's a mint, and this is our regular Creo, and I've added some dried mint leaf to it. We have pumpkin spice. Uh, the same thing. It's all natural, but I've added some clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg to that. And then we have Maya. This is one of the original recipes. We took our 100% ground cocoa, and we added some cayenne, cinnamon, and ground Ooh, vanilla. So a little lovely. bit of flavors that people like during, during okay, the holidays. Okay, we have your website up. Is there any other place people can purchase this? We're in most of the stores around. Ooh, Harmons, Macy's. Good Earth, Whole Foods, we're Love all over. Love it, and you're local, we which are. is even better. All right, thank you so much for thank being you. here, and we're going to have hot cocoa in just momentarily. Nirvana and Kiss are topping the list of the inductees.